these steps are so far apart. I gotta find a way down. You scale good waterscape to seal the armor. T Treason! Blasphemy! You've lost your senses. You think this will gain the trust of the Sienjo natives. Those who are not of our kind can never be of our mind. I understand your misgivings, but my decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... Very well. In that case, I will report you to the Preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor's seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talons. The path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the Root Depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the Three Talons. What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <sighs> for the Vidyatara, it must have been a necessary sacrifice. This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be a step closer to the roots of the arbor. Those seals you mentioned, do you mean these weird-looking stone lanterns? That's right. From what I recall, we have to touch these stone lanterns in a particular sequence to unlock the seals in this area. In that case then, I'll leave it to you. I'll do my best. I received word from Lady Fu. The depth of Fentilia's infiltration, along with her meticulous planning, makes her extremely difficult to guard against. The Cloud Knights will carry out an investigation, but for now, our most pressing matter is to put a stop to Fentilia's scheme. If your people knew that you had brought me here, there would be great unrest. They will never know. Keep quiet, Inching. This will make us even. I will give you two hours. Research what you can. Remember, two hours. I'm a short-life species. Do you think two hours isn't enough? It will be done. Hmm. That's Dan Fung's voice. But what about the other person? It's so familiar. Reach the end of the story in your own way. This seal was already on the verge of breaking before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Hmm. 
Our people sing the hymn of clouds and dance to water's cherished sounds. And high above the dragon flies to each is destined different skies. This mural portrays the Vidyadara very young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Xianzhou, thereby dedicating themselves to serving the Alliance. This mural is pretty interesting. It looks like time hasn't had any effect on it. This mural must be related to the others here. It tells the story of the Vidyadara self-reincarnation, from hatching rebirth in the ancient sea, to the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps? Uh, fair enough. It's tough racking your brains all the time. I'm struggling to keep track. Our reincarnation's greatest cost. The wisdom of a past life lost. Yet through the teachings of our kind. Unto the young again consigned. The mural depicts the Vidyadara being guided by their elder, a wiser kin after their rebirth. Mm. And as the day is almost gone, return alone to water's song. Beneath the waves in silver shell, Await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyadra is reached after seven centuries. And they return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. Beneath the lunar glow adorned, Vidyadara eggs begin to form, and from the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadara hatching rebirth in the lunarescent depths, the beginning of self-reincarnation. Okay, let's head to the third seal. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Um, what is this? Miss March, I would advise you to refrain from interfering with the Vidyadara. The Vidyadara? You mean these pearls will turn into people? When the life of a Vidyadara is over, they return to the ancient sea and form a shell before emerging anew. This is the hatching rebirth cycle. Oh. Young Master, must we really forsake Skelgord Waterscape? It is time to repay them. 
That should do, General. <clears throat> Enough. <laughs> Don't be nervous, sir. This is a mere formality for me and the Ten Lords Commission. This is of vital importance to the Ambrosial Arbor Seals. Safety must be guaranteed. Quelling the Arbor is the duty of the Vidyatara. Keep in mind, this generation cannot afford to repeat the failure of the previous High Elder. Of course. The Cloud Knight General and the Ten Lords Commission. They performed regular inspections of Scale Gorge Waterscape. the flagstone the creature was stepping on? I wonder if it has any connection to this deal. The entrance to the Three Talons is complete. Now, we must head for the roots of the Arbor. The roots of the Arbor are still growing. It's Fantelia. We must hurry. Uh, is that a dragon? We've reached the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the Three Talents, the path to the Great Roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, the Arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared. General of the Law Fu chosen to grace me with his presence. Ah, that witch! She was here waiting for us the whole time! Show yourself, Fantilia! And the benefactors, too! Oh, patience, patience. Uh, let me make myself presentable. Now I see why the disciples of Sanctus Medicus hold themselves in such high regard. The Arbor's traces really do possess the power of metamorphosis and resurrection. All of you, ready yourselves! Uh, Fantilia! What is she doing? Benefactors, behold this beautiful body. The miracles of abundance live up to the name. 
Let's see if I can put it to good use. The very power that brought the Sienjo long life, I will use to bring it destruction. Vantilia has usurped the power of the Arbor. All of you, focus on destroying the Phantom Flowers. I'll go for the body. So much bark with so little bite. Your attacks are futile. <laughs> this body was born of the Arbor. You are but ants. from this. The weeds in my garden give me more grief. <laughs> Your arrogance betrays you. Nice teamwork. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Naughty children, savor the vigor of... Lance at the ready. <laughs> Crushing an ant with the weight of a star. How indulgent. The universe will end in destruction. And with it, the abundance and the hunt will disappear. So much effort to crush us. And met with so little success. I wonder what the other Ravagers would think. It's almost as if you can't wait to be acquainted with them. I'm afraid you won't have a chance. Is that it? Blossom. It is time to put an end to this. My indulgence. Your struggle in the face of certain death is touching. It is time to put an end to this. It's okay. For my next trick, I shall turn each of you into my Void Rangers. The power of the destruction will eat away at your flesh and transform you into pawns of the great Nanook. Let's start with this arrogant Sienjo general. of a Sienjo general into a Void Ranger would cast the law proof back into chaos. Destruction works in fascinating <sighs> What are you?
Not bad, General of the Hunt. But all I lost was a body stolen on a whim. And you, how much longer can you last? The destruction of the Sienjo is nigh. <laughs> Be gone, pawn of destruction. Tell the Legion that the vengeance of the Hunt will fall upon them. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> and it would seem the two of us can still coordinate our efforts. <laughs> Fantilia, a truly fearsome enemy. If she hadn't attempted to turn me into a pawn of destruction, I'm afraid victory would have been far from certain. <clears throat> Fantilia had established a link between me and herself. Her well-timed strike gravely injured her. Thus, her connection to the Arbor was severed. So it was all part of the plan? When Don Hung stabbed you, I was scared to death. It takes more than that to destroy an emanator of destruction. Still... Fantilia won't be stirring up trouble anytime soon. Don't worry about her infecting the Arbor again. It's just that sealing the Stellaron is going to take some time. Leave that to the Master Diviner. Whew. I'm afraid I may be... <laughs> Somewhat spent. Uh, General, keep those eyes open. Now's not the time to fall asleep. Uh, uh, hey, wake up! It's getting late. Where to now? <laughs>